All right, everybody, and welcome to the Goody Pantry. Today we're going to be making the classic beef bourguignon. Here's all the ingredients on the screen. And before we jump straight in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified for all new videos. And let's get straight on into it. So here's our ingredients. I'm going to start off with the meat. So I've got some nice smoked streaky bacon here. And I've got four good size, good quality brazen steaks. I've got my garlic. Got my tomato puree. My diced onions. I've got a large leek. I've got some parsley, thyme, a couple of carrots, chestnut mushrooms, one pint of good rich beef stock. And then I've got the red wine. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the meat cut up. So I've started on the bacon here. And I'm just cutting it the size of what a cubed piece of beef would be like. I'll bring it up to the camera in a second here and I'll show you how I've cut it. Next we're going to go on our steaks. Now I'm going to leave these quite chunky, the way I cut them. So I've got this one here, I'm just going to cut this into four good sized chunks. And then we're just going to do the same with the rest. Try and get them as even as possible and check them with your steaks, because your steaks might be a bit bigger, as you'll see here. So now we're going to go on to our vegetables. So we've got our carrots and I'm going to top and tail the carrots. And again, we're going to leave these fairly chunky. What we don't want is the vegetables to be so small that they'll just dis disappear in the sauce. So I've chopped mine in half and then half again and then in half again. And just going to repeat that with the rest of the carrots. Now we're going to move on to the leek and we're just going to do the same again. We're going to top and tail, we're going to slice it down the middle and we're going to cut the leeks roughly the same size as you cut the carrots. Now it's time for the mushrooms and with the mushrooms I'm just going to half and quarter the, the mushrooms. Once that's done, that's all the prep work done, we can now start making the bourguignon. So here I've got my cast iron pan and I've put some oil in. I'm just going to flash fry the brazen steaks. You just want to get a good sear on the sides of the steaks. Salt and pepper as you go. And this is what it's like after being in the pan for about a minute. And then a minute on the other side. And then we're just going to take these out. And then do the rest of the steak. So next part we're going on our onions. Now don't clean your pan out. Just add your onions in. If you need another splash of oil like I do, just add a splash of oil. And as you see, all them juices are now coming off the bottom of the pan. And this is what's going to add the great flavour to your bourguignon. Next going in with the garlic. And we're just going to do that again. We're going to cook this for about 30 seconds, one minute, not a lot. And then we're going to get the carrots in. I'm just going to do the same thing here. Give these a good minute as you're cooking them around. Then after the minute, we're going in with our tomato puree. And when you put this in, cook this 
at this stage for two minutes. Just keep stirring it around, incorporate it in, let it cook into those ingredients. And this is what it'll look like after the two minutes. Once you've got that done, now we're going to bring our beef back into our dish. And then we're going to cover with our red wine. Now I've used half a bottle here. You can use more if you like. That's up to you how much you'd like to use. So just going to bring that to the boil now. And lid on. And give that a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, lid off. And then you just say, there's the, the colour we're looking for for our sauce. So now we're going to go in with our base stock. And here we're going to go in with uh, three bay leaves. And our thyme. The bay leaves is optional. If you've got them, I'd add them. Get the lid on. And that's going to go in the oven now for one and a half hours. This is what it looks like after the hour and a half. As you can see, everything's nicely started cooking down. The meat's getting very tender. So at this point, we're going to take out our bay leaves and our thyme. So here I've just got some flour and some water, and I'm going to use this to thicken our sauce. Now don't be worried when it does this at this stage. Is it, Once you put it back in the oven or you keep cooking it, all that disappears. So get it added in, and then to your desired thickness. Once you've got it where you're, you're happy with it, lid on, back in the oven. At this point now we're going to melt some butter because we're going to finish off the rest of the bourguignon. So now we're going to cook the bacon, the leeks, and the mushrooms. Now the reason we do this at this stage is because if you did this right at the start, because everything's so fine, it would literally just disappear in the sauce, and you wouldn't get any texture. So that's why we do it later. Once your bacon started starting to crisp up, then we're going to add our leeks and our mushrooms, and we're just going to blanch this down. I'll bring the back out, and as you say, yeah, all those little bits where they came from the flour, they've completely disappeared. So now we're going to add our leeks, bacon, and mushrooms into our bourguignon. And after a quick little stir, we're going to put the lid back on and this is going to cook now again for another hour this is cooking at 160 fan or 180 regular or gas mark free and here it is after the second hour and this is done now you can see evans nicely done just make sure you check it make sure that the beef is tender but it definitely should be at this point And then just before we serve, we top it off with some fresh parsley. And here's our light serve mine with some nice buttery mashed potato and then plenty of that beef and that gravy from the burger. Yeah. And there we have it guys, the classic beef bourguignon. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, give this one a try. I'm not the biggest fan of French food, but I do really love this dish. Um, it tastes so good, the gravy especially, or the jus, whichever you want to call it. It just tastes so, so good. And the beef, as you just saw there, it's just so tender. Really is good. Yeah, give this one a try. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Let me know in the comments if anything you'd like to see me make. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks for watching.